I'm free from the blood of all men. My God, we got to stay free, saints. Don't you know your life can turn somebody off from the church? You can live so that people say, that saves salvation, I don't want it. Be God calling for a holy life and not a regular life. Hallelujah. There's many people turning off from the church. I'm not saying nobody doing it here. But there are many people turning off from the church because they say, if that's what church is all about, I'd rather stay out here. Thank you, Jesus. It's time for the church to give back the devil all his tools. Amen. So I don't want them. Amen. I use them when I was in the world. I no longer need your tools. Amen. But we're living in a day where there's a great change in the air. There's a great change in the atmosphere. The devil has sold a bill of goods to let people think, make people think. God really don't care. That's the same lie he told Eve. Did God tell you you'll surely die? She said, yeah. You're not going to die. For God knows the day you eat a dish from. God knows you're going to be just like God's. Knowing good and evil. Look at the lie. Mm -hmm. And Eve said, yes. A simple act of disobedience. Death. Death came on the human family because of the act of disobedience. Amen. Not fornicating, uh -huh. not adultery, mm -hmm. not cursing and swearing, but the act of disobedience brought death on the human family. People are disobeying God. And they think because they are not committing the 17 works of the flesh, it's all right. Mm -hmm. But it's not all right. Amen, that's right. The Bible said, he that know to do good. Uh -huh. He that know to do good and do it not to him is sin. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to drink and cuss. You ain't got to sleep around. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do no. Just know the right thing to do and don't do it till you are sin. That's the Bible. Yep. We live in a day with a Christian community going back and saying, it don't matter. The devil done told me, it don't matter. But God's word don't change. It don't change. He said, touch not. The unclean things. Be separate. Just a separate walk. Yes, people will call you holy than thou. They're going to laugh at you, ridicule you. That's coming. That's a part of the plan. You're going to suffer for his name. Say, Jesus said, if you suffer with me, you'll reign with me. Jesus said, you're going to be hated of all men for my name. Say, he done told us that. Amen. Being holy and not popular. It's not, especially when you're standing. Holiness is popular when people wish you wash it. That's popular then. But if you stand on that foundation, then folks will turn on you. But that's the best thing in happen. You doing something, baby. When they call you holding down, you ought to say, hold up right there. They think you're going to lay them out. You should hold up. Let me shout. <laughs> So what's wrong with you? You just fulfill scripture. You're supposed to do that to me. If you didn't do it, I think something wrong. They're supposed to run you down. That's the book. But Jesus said in your patience, possession your soul. The problem people don't read the Bible. All you got to do is get in the book of Acts. Get in the book of Acts and you're going to find out the apostles and the saints of God suffered. They suffered because of the name of Jesus. They were whipped, put in prison, killed by the sword, stoned, all for the name of Jesus. Men, women, and children locked in jail simply for naming 
in the name of Jesus. People don't read Acts. They won't mess with that book. That show you you're suffering. But through it all, they came out victorious. Yes, let me share this door watching my YouTube. People take church as a game, think it's funny. But let me tell you something. One moment in glory. Hell ain't worth it. The evangelist said last week, five minutes of pledge ain't worth hell for eternity. Amen. It ain't, it's not worth it. All this suffering you go through in this world is worth it all. One millisecond in glory is worth it all. You want Jesus coming to take the church out of this world and we're going to ever be with him. You think about eternity. Eternity. One zillion years. You just got there. A hundred zillion years. You just started. Same thing about hell. People laughing at you. You get in hell, you ain't coming out. The Bible is right. So you're burned with fire and brimstone forever. Uh -huh. Forever. Just like the righteous going to be in heaven forever. That's why Paul suffered. That's why Paul said, I press toward the mark. It's a pressing way. It's a press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling in Christ Jesus. You got to press your way. You got to press against this flesh. Amen. Your flesh don't want to do right. Any honest people in here? Amen. Your flesh don't want to do right. Amen. But you got something on the inside Amen. that work on the outside. Yes, Hallelujah. And it's called power. Uh, Holy Ghost power. Uh, when your flesh speak to you uh, and tell you you can dip and dab in a little sin. Uh, when your flesh speak to you so you can have a little fun. Uh, Hallelujah to God. Something on the inside called the Holy Ghost. He'll begin to rise up in your spirit. And God said, I'm in control. Hallelujah to God. He said, think on good things. Hallelujah. You'll find yourself telling your flesh, not here today, not tomorrow, not next year. For I am clean. I am washed. I'm sanctified. In the blood of the Lamb. Lord Jesus, help me. Hallelujah. I heard the Bible say, let us come boldly to the throne of grace that we may find help. Hallelujah. Mercy. Oh, and grace to help in the time of need. You don't have to run and call nobody. If you got the Holy Ghost, all you got to do is fall on your face and say, Lord, I need some help and I need it right now. And he said, when you call, I say, here I am. My God, and he'll raise up in you. He'll bubble up in your spirit. A well of water. A fresh well. And you can begin to drink from your own well. Look at somebody and say, when you need a drink, call on Jesus and drink from your own well. For you full of water. Holy Ghost water. And he'll refresh you in a time of need. He'll refresh you in a trap. He'll refresh you when the hell hounds get on your track. He'll refresh you. Hallelujah. When the devil come through other folks, he'll refresh you. Hallelujah to God. They think you ought to be cursing. And you're standing there smiling. Why? Don't you take a drink? A whole Theology, but I give you the word. You need to come out of sin. 